How do I juggle working with current clients, finding new ones, negotiating retainers, making content, and everything else life throws at me? I don't keep track of it up here. I use a client management system I've developed over the years that allows me to keep track of current projects, pitch future ones, and deal with those difficult client situations that come up. I use a combination of project management tools and a CRM to handle my clients, both good clients and bad clients, and we'll walk through all of that. But why is management of your clients important? Why bother staying organized with tools rather than just keeping it all in my head? Well, the more organized I am, the more high paying retainers I tend to land. My goal is to show you behind the curtain into my freelance business so that you can see what the reality is behind staying organized and landing these big retainers. Starting with the first part of this whole process, project management. I use Notion for this and I wanna show you my exact template that I use. This video is walking through the four parts of client management and this is part one but who's this guy talking to you about clients? My name is Chris Pieta. I run a photography company and teach creative business online. Project management is the first step of client management. When a client signs on to work with you, they obviously want something from you. Maybe it's 10 photos, maybe it's three short form videos, four stop motions. This is easy to keep track of in an email or even in your head. But what happens when you have three clients, five clients, 10 clients at once? Should I tell my clients that I'm fully booked? Should I say, hey Red Bull, I would love to work with you on this, but I'm booked for the next two months. Let's do something then. Of course not. I'm not gonna turn down paying clients. That would make me a bad business owner. I fix the problem, the organization problem. I create systems that ensure I can stay organized and I can work way, way faster because I'm on top of everything all of my clients need. I don't wanna be going into my emails and trying to figure out what number of photos each client needs, what editing style this person wants, what aspect ratio this project requires. That is a massive waste of time for me. And it's costing me money that I could put towards providing for my family. I realize that just because I'm not spending money doesn't mean I'm not losing it. Leaving money on the table is just as bad for me. So how do I fix this issue? I downloaded a project management tool and set it up perfectly so that it fits my needs. There are loads of different options out there. Asana, ClickUp, Notion, there's a bunch. I went with Notion for my client work because it was just so customizable. Let me walk you through what I have right here. By the way, if you're a Creative Biz Launch student watching, you already know that you get access to this template and a bunch more as a free bonus for joining the program. Special shout out to the students watching. Okay, opening up Notion right here. All right, so right here you can see my database with all of my clients. Now a lot of this stuff is blurred out for confidentiality, um, but inside here is my entire project management system for my client. You you can see the status up here with the current sasses of my clients. We're gonna be using Solti as an example. This is a previous client from, I think earlier this year or last year. And you can see the status here. So when clients work with me, they go through this entire process here, uh, the prep, mood board, pending products, shooting, setting proofs, retainer, um, and a bunch of other things here. And this allows me to stay organized. Now, certain clients are in different stages of the process. So you can see a couple are in prep here. This one's pending products, shooting, retainer, and completed. Now, Salty is already done here. So I just set to pending products as an example for uh, this video here. So let's click into Salty and see what we have here. So when we click into the client here, you can actually see everything that's going on. So at the top, I write in a shoot date. This is what I'm gonna shoot. I estimate a shoot time, so four hours for this one, the assets that they need, 12 photos, one stop motion, the project goal that they gave me in the onboarding form, so timeless photography that captures attention and stays true to brand guidelines, uh, the brand tone, relevant links, so in case they want to resemble some other brand, must have shots, number of products, all this good stuff that helps me stay organized. Now inside here, I have notes of what I have to do for this exact project. Here I made a note, uh, no blocks, so they didn't want these geometric blocks in the shoot, and they also didn't want ice in, the show to, in this photo. Okay, so now uh, I just have a statement up here to kind of keep me on track, and a shot list. So this is really for me, so this might look foreign to you, but they want action shots of the small bottles, and I just number one through five here because they have five products. So as I shoot these, I just check these off during the shoot day, helps me stay organized. Um, down here, there's examples of the stop motion that I might wanna go off of. And then down here, we have photo inspo that I wanna replicate for uh, this particular client. You can see some of my photos here already. Um, so this is a really quick overview of what I mean by staying organized inside of Notion because having something like this for each client is so important so I can actually stay organized, get the right work done, and not have to go into my emails, not have to remember everything up here. And this allows me to work so much faster and get so much more done. By systemizing my project management, I'm able to take on way more client work. 
That means more revenue and more security for me, my family, and my business. Now, part two of client management, and this is a huge one. We have four parts to go through, so let's get into part two. Part two is using a CRM. And no, I'm not talking about HoneyBook or software is dedicated to creatives. We need to be using a proper CRM so that we can actually keep track of all the opportunities in our pipeline. CRM stands for Client Relationship Management. They basically map out your entire journey from when you first contact the lead in your initial outreach all the way through to them giving you a review, case study, and putting them inside your monthly retainer program. Now, there's probably a dozen steps that happen along the way here, and I'm not gonna focus on these initial steps of actually landing them as a client because because I have so many videos devoted to that topic already on my channel. If you need help with landing your first five clients, I just released a brand new free workshop that walks you through the four step blueprint for getting paying clients. If you don't have any clients or you don't have clients that pay you thousands, I walk through the client acquisition process and my pricing strategies in that free workshop. Link to enroll is down below. Okay, so how do we use our CRM for our current clients? Well, on top of tracking project details inside of Notion, we should be tracking the client's sales journey as well. Just because we sign them as a client doesn't mean their sales journey is over. I used to make this mistake all the time. I would sign on a client, feel really good, deliver amazing photos, and then the client relationship would end. That's because I didn't have a CRM, a client relationship manager. But the beauty of using a CRM is that you can track all the steps to take after they sign on to work with you. Once the project is over, we can assign follow-up steps to this client. That means the CRM will tell us exactly when to follow up for a new project. I remember one time I was working with this client and we had a great time together. They were super easy to work with. They loved my photos that I delivered, but here's where I went wrong. They told me that they were coming out with some new products down the road. I made a mental note to follow up. I was excited to work with them again. Then a few months passed and I was scrolling Instagram and saw a brand new photo of their new product. They worked with another photographer for this. At first I was angry. Why didn't they ask me? But then I realized it was my fault. I should have been the one following up with them. I should have made a note to actually follow up with them and get that project, but I wasn't using a CRM to do that. So it fell through the cracks. From then on, I always used a CRM so that I knew when it was time to follow up. So what CRMs do I actually recommend? Well, if you're a Creative Biz Launch student, you've got access to the CRM we built out in the program for you. I recommend using that until you're around 50K a year in revenue. And from then, I would actually use something more advanced like Close. I've been using Close for years now. It's my favorite CRM and I use it in both of my companies. So using a project management tool and a CRM are really the core systems that you need for good client management. I wanna go through two more things here. One, the customer experience and two, how to handle difficult clients. Okay, so customer experience, this word gets thrown around a lot and for good reason. The customer experience is extremely important in building lasting relationships with clients. I actually put this at the top of my list for things I focus on when working with clients. There's this crazy stat out there and I think I'm remembering it correctly here, but most clients will decide whether or not they're gonna work with you again within the first few hours or the first few day or two of signing a contract with you. And that means that they've decided before even getting the final assets, whether or not they're gonna work with you again. So this comes down to the customer experience experience. When they signed on to work with you, did you welcome them right away? Did you send an invoice for a 50% deposit right away? Believe it or not, this makes you more professional. I prioritize welcoming my clients and onboarding them immediately after they sign a proposal with me. On top of these basics, I always respond to emails right away. I'll never open and leave it in my inbox. There's no good reason to do that. The email either gets a response right away or it gets archived. That's how I've been able to seemingly scale my company so fast. I talk to a lot of creative freelancers and it shocks me how little focus there is on this part of a client acquisition process and the client experience. That's good news for you because it makes it easy to win. Be a good person, give the client a good experience, and they'll come back for more. What happens when we provide a great experience and they still act rude, entitled, and are a pain to work with? Well, this brings me to our fourth and final point of the client management system, dealing with bad clients. How do I handle difficult clients? Well, when I first started my creative freelance career, I would try and do everything to please these people. I was desperate for clients, but the more experience I got in this industry, the more I realized I should just be getting rid of these clients. It's easy to get new clients with a proper client acquisition system. If you struggle to get clients, then please go check out that free workshop down below, you'll learn my four-step blueprint for paying clients. 
link below. Okay, so how do I deal with difficult clients? Well, it starts with a conversation with them. I never get angry. I never talk down to them or use a harsh tone with them. I try and stay neutral and present them with the facts of the situation. Sometimes this will get through to them and they'll promise to change their ways, but this rarely happens. Most of the time, we need to fire them. How can we fire our clients? Sometimes after a project, they'll pay and they'll never reach out again. No worries here. But what if they do reach out? What I like to do is I just raise my rate to a level that would make this headache worth it for me. If our last project was 2,000 bucks, maybe I'll quote 4,000 or 5,000 for this next one. If they say yes, well, then the headache is worth it. If they say no, then I've successfully fired this difficult client. And that's it. I keep track of my projects using Notion. I use a CRM so I don't lose future opportunities. I treat my clients well, and I fire the ones that don't treat me well. Thank you so much for your time. It really means a lot that you spent it here with me today. My name is Chris Pieta, and I'll see you in the next one.